I want to find whoever made this and ask them like face to face why they thought like this was a genuinely good idea. You know how people are are just pushing for these like stupid metaverse characters, aka Mark Zuckerberg, buddy. We don't want that shit. We saw like the model you did the other day. You're the only one pushing the shit at this point. I promise. These characters have somehow made it into uh, the rap industry, and there's a leading figure by the name of FN Mecca. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain like very crucial details. So he's a Mecca is a TikTok and SoundCloud rapper. The company behind them make NFTs, and they've collabed with G Fuel and Phase. And he pushes the stereotype that rappers are obnoxious and flex their wealth 24/7. If you just look at the videos, it's just it's just animated like just jewelry and, and shit like that it's honestly just corny as fuck at this point because because he's obviously modeled to be like a stereotypical soundcloud rapper such as like a uh, little pump Lil uzi and possibly Lil peep as well and 100 six nine who all four have been like even if you don't like them you can't you can't lie that they've been successful if you were to just go on it onto his, like his tiktok and scroll down all the videos that he has like made you would you would assume it's like a, a joke, but in reality, it's not. The people behind the actual account are genuinely 100% serious about pushing this thing to become a legitimate, like, figure in rap. So a couple days ago, uh, FN Mecca and the creator somehow managed to get signed to a fucking legitimate music label, aka Capitol Records. I don't know how the fuck this happened, but Capitol Records were bragging about it. An executive vice president in, in Capitol Records, uh, he said that this, um, the signing of FN Mecca meets at the intersection of music, technology, and gaming culture, and it's just a preview of what's to come. He also called it a first of its kind, and and quote unquote evolution of Capitol Records 80 year history of innovation. Before being dropped by Capitol Records, they managed to drop one song with FN Mecca and the song the song that they made had Gunna of an, an, an actual an actual rap artist and and clicks. I was wondering what the fuck does clicks have to do with any of this? What what did he add to the song? He's literally a Fortnite youtuber or twitch streamer either one like he might have just added like one like one fucking hi-hat and i guess that counts like a production credit i'm getting credit for nothing to go to be honest <laughs> no you're they're, getting they're you're, all the guys you, you get credit for knowing your audience and it's obvious that the song was also made for people in the fortnite community because clicks was promoting the absolute shit out of it so this is where everything absolutely comes crashing down for uh fn mecca and their and his creator quote unquote creators since they were signed to the label uh multiple posts uh, on their instagram and I guess the backstory behind the character were were I coming out, such as there was an Instagram post where uh his CG character was getting beat up by another CG character in jail and has like a really weird ass caption. I don't know. Look, it's just weird because Gunna is literally in jail right now. <laughs> He's literally in fucking prison for racketeering charges. So I don't, I don't know how. And the Instagram caption talked about like not being a snitch and shit like that. Meanwhile, people are also finding out that um, FN Mecca's uh, creators are white and Asian and the CG character has like a bunch of songs where he says the N word in them, weirdly enough. So it started getting trapped action on Twitter and the aftermath of all the backlash that Capitol Records were getting it all ended up in Mecca getting his contract terminated with them he got dropped in two fucking days that is the fastest a rapper has been dropped by a music label one of the voices behind Mecca also made a video on Instagram and they said in the video that uh, that the creators ghosted him after they gained 10 million followers on TikTok and after they somehow got the music deal from Capitol Records you would think like after all this they would just like delete the account and just I don't know just move on to like future projects and stuff like that but no they i i'm pretty sure they're gonna keep trying this dumb fucking gimmick because um at jarvis on twitter dm'd him on instagram acting like a fake fan telling a man i you can come back from this man i believe you and the, the response that he got back could not have been like worse like <laughs> uh, i'm gonna put it on the screen but i mean you could just read them and and i mean like if you're if you're just not an idiot you can really find out like what are the issues of his response in one of the dms he says racist reporters just want to report clickbait literally we've told reporters this and they ignore it just to get headlines it's desperate and sad society we live in now okay i just want to put it out there first of all all the accusations people are literally making against this dumbass gimmick are aren't even clickbait there's literally fucking proof that you actually posted like the cg cop on your on instagram which is now coincidentally fucking private so other people can't dig through all like is the, the other dumb shit you probably posted on there and also you can't say it's a false narrative if there's actual proof you did that stuff that's not how it works 
it's like if I were to get fucking jumped by a group of people and people were recording it, there's like multiple POVs. And then when it goes viral, I made like a tweet on Twitter saying like, oh no, I didn't get my ass beat. Y'all are just promoting a false narrative out here. That's not how it works. Like, <laughs> and second of all, these creators have also done multiple interviews where they're talking about where they are talking about how they made like the quote unquote AI lyrics and, and I guess their own personal backstories. Uh, to sum it all up, FN Mecca is probably a dead attempt now of getting money and he can't really recover this because it's getting reported by a bunch of like news such as new york times pitchfork yahoo xxl mag and complex so they yeah they can't really recover from this and because they're just going to be clowned on forever I, like i'm finishing this entire video or you know finishing like putting the commentary over it i still can't believe that this isn't actually like a joke that like like a 10 year old or 15 year old made just fucking look at it